very thirsty. I'm about to have a drink of water. But I can't remember whether this is tap water or sea water. I have a jug of tap water and a bottle of sea water and I have two glasses which I've filled and I'm afraid I got them mixed up, so I'm not sure which is which. How can I tell which is tap water, which is sea water? Well, you could say taste them and it wouldn't take long and it'd be quite safe. But there's another way. Can you think of that? The candle may give you a clue. Yes, we could heat up a small amount of water from each glass and see what happens. Let's see what happens when we start with water from this glass here. I'll take just a drop of it in a spoon. There we are. Then I'll wipe the base of the spoon and then I'll hold the spoon over the candle. What do you think will happen? Well, what happens, of course, is we're putting energy into the water. Molecules of water are moving all the time, even in a block of ice, they're vibrating. In the water that comes out of a tap or in the sea, they're moving around independently of one another. When you heat up water, some of those molecules move so rapidly they leave the liquid altogether and they go into a, a vapour. That's what's happening now. But look, something's being left behind. Can you see that white material? It's a white scum. What does that look like? Well, it does look a little bit like salt, doesn't it? Perhaps this one is the seawater. But we can't be absolutely sure, can we? Until we check that against water from the other glass. So I'll do that with another spoon. Once again, drop of water, about the same amount. Once again, carefully wipe the base of the spoon and once again hold it over the flame. You'll notice that I'm holding the spoon just a little bit above the candle flame. That's actually the hottest part. If you hold it in the flame, you get a lot of carbon deposited on the bottom of the spoon, but it takes longer to heat. Watch what happens. Energy going into the water molecules, they're moving more rapidly. Some of them are starting to leave the liquid. We say it's evaporating. When you see those bubbles appear, we say it's boiling. What's being left behind this time? Anything at all? Well, maybe a little. You can see a little bit of white material, but not very much at all. In fact, if I do a side-by-side -side comparison, we can see that the first one contains a lot more salt than the second one. So the first one was the seawater, the second one was the tap water. So there's an easy way to tell the difference between tap water and seawater.